Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in a prior video on my primary Outer Limitless channel, we took a look at this Sidewinder boot flashlight from the company Streamlight. Now Streamlight is a company whose products I've come to greatly enjoy, appreciate, and rely on. These lights are absolutely fantastic, a little bit ruggedized, and really intended for basic military purposes. Now, on my prior video, we did take a look at this in a little bit of detail, and I found this light was, and I'm not going to say underpowered, but just a nice, subtle amount of light capable of doing some basic tasks and not drawing too much attention to you. But in today's video on Outer Limitless 2, we're going to take a look at this Sidewinder stock. This is new for the 2022 season. It was debuted at SHOT Show, and at this point, getting it out here, we're going to take a look at this in detail. And then on top of that, there are some accessories. These are just little small accessories to help you adapt your Streamlight Sidewinders to a number of different pieces of gear. Now I might not have all the different gear for these specific pieces, but we'll talk about it in a little bit of detail and we'll see where this Sidewinder stock might work out for you. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Streamlight who did provide this for review. Now in my introduction, I said that the original Sidewinder boot that I looked at had a fairly low output. Keep in mind, again, the idea being this is made for military purposes. This is intended on being a hands-free light. So the ability to clip this to a number of different pieces of gear, mount it to a number of different pieces of gear, and leverage a number of accessories. And here, with the stock, the high mode only 76 lumens. Think about that. In today's day and age, in high lumen flashlights, high output, having something that's literally only 76 lumens in the high mode, that tells you what the intended purpose of this is. Basic tasks up close, the ability to read, look at maps, and not draw major attention to yourself, that's the intention of the Sidewinder series. And so as we get into this, the interesting thing, this has red, white, green, blue, and infrared capabilities. So that's going to be really neat. I will be very interested to see how this performs. And this kind of does give beacons in different sort of specialty modes. So we're gonna pay attention to that now. In reality, this does have infrared beacon mode. We're gonna do a little bit to test this and sort of see how that plays out. But here you can see the Streamlight Sidewinder stock. So as we break it out here, very nice, robust construction. That's the thing about these Sidewinders, durable polymer construction. So extremely tough, extremely robust. The dial on top here, again, white. And then that appears to be infrared off and then different colors. So we'll take a look at that in detail. Your on off switch. And it looks like the battery compartment here, actually really interesting, this little mechanism. I've never seen another light with something quite like that, a little bit unique, very cool. Now the nice thing, this does come with batteries. So in reality here, a lithium, but then also a double A. So we gotta take a quick little look at this, sort of figure out what's going on as you look inside here. It looks to be, at this point, really more intended for that uh, lithium CR123. So very interesting that it comes actually with a double A, but we'll take a look at that in some detail. In the package here, your informational pamphlet. So good amount of documentation here. Actually, this is fairly thick. So it's probably quite a bit to take a look at here. A sticker and a small little product card. So all things considered, pretty straightforward. A little bit of documentation on the back side of the packaging. And this is IP67 rated. So between the dust rating and that water resistance rating, this is going to be a hard use workhorse light. And so because this is dual fuel, we'll have to take a little bit of a closer look at that. But for the time being, just putting in the CR123. Now again, that nice little latch there. I do like that mechanism, very cool. And now at this point, turning this on so it is in the off position spinning that dial to the white light and pressing the button there you go so as you can see there pretty straightforward 
long press, it'll go between different modes. So low, medium, high, and then back down. So it ramps in both directions, low, long press, medium, long press, high, long press, medium, long press, low. So it does ramp in both directions. Cycling to the infrared, long press, and you're probably not gonna see anything, and for all I know, that might be emitting. We'll check that in a little bit. And then color. So here you can see long press red, low, medium, high, medium, low. So ramping up and down, very cool. Quick double press, and you can see that it initiates a beacon. And again, a single press turns it back on. Double press, goes back to that beacon. Let's take a look at the white mode real quick. So if we go back to that white mode, Turning the light on, single press, double click. Yes, so a white beacon as well. Now let's just say you don't want red. At least from what I think, it's saying press the button rapidly five times. Oh, there you go. So yeah, press it five times and then long press. So that's green, blue, back to red. That's awesome, really nice. Let's try that again. Blue, so off, quick double press, that's gonna be the beacon. Turn on the light and long press, oh there you go. So yeah, it does go between the different intensities. Back to the red, and the green, light off, turn it on, long press, yes. So you do get the different intensities with each one of the colors. I like that very much. The green is very nice. And the nice thing about green that people don't realize, it's actually the easiest wavelength for your eyes to see. So that is definitely an advantage if you wanna have something that's sort of low profile, a little bit stealth, yet at the same time gives you good visibility. The green's a great way to go. Red's nice because it doesn't necessarily kill your night vision, and the blue's gonna help you to illuminate things, maybe for example, blood trails, things like that. So really neat that that's built into this tight little package. Very nice. And so here you can see, if you flip this forward, that's your IR selector switch. So this should be running in a couple of different positions. And in order for me to actually see it, I'm going to leverage a pair of infrared binoculars. So turning these on, I'm gonna kill the lights. And at this point, let's see what we get. This should be on. I really can't tell. I'm trying to see, but I, Maybe this has to be flipped all the way over. Oh, yep, 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 there we go. We have this going. So you're not going to see it on the main camera. Maybe a little bit, just a subtle little flash there. If you look real close, you'll see a subtle little flash. Let me kill the main light. There you go. So that's your infrared beacon. But looking at it with the infrared binoculars, there you go, very bright. Now there seems to be a couple of modes. So here's mode one. And mode two. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the difference is. Switching between these. Again, mode one. And mode two, it seems to be just about the same, but I don't quite understand it. But that is how you lock this out. As you see here, you have the ability to lock that out and the infrared, keep that shut. Really cool, just a neat light, nice features, very interesting. And so here you can see getting the Streamlight Sidewinder stock out for some basic field use. This is a very simple demonstration so you can see the type of beam that you do get from this stock. Keep in mind, again, it is a very low overall output with the intention of not drawing too much attention to the person who's using the light. At the end of the day, this is a military light, so it does have a very specific purpose-driven design. But as you can see here, using it with the different white modes, the low, the medium, and the high, again, a good amount of light to see what you need in a general close-up application, 
but not beaming too far off into the distance and doing enough to illuminate in front of you, give you the ease of being able to walk and see. And then also the key having these specialty modes. So here you can see the different colored LEDs the blue being very easy to see, but at the same time, it does take a little bit of getting used to, not a big deal, and it is something that comes into play if you're trying to do some very specific tasks, such as finding blood trails or other specific markers. This is pretty much a basic floodlight, so it does a good job illuminating evenly out in front of you. But easily changing to the red mode, this is gonna be nice where it's not gonna completely kill your night vision. This again, allowing you to leverage the low, the medium, and the high intensities, and this is gonna do a nice job for your ability to read, look at maps, and identify different items without killing your night vision overall. The stock is a unique light where it does typically mount to different hardware, so you can see I am hand holding it, but for the most part, you would attach this to a helmet, to a pack, or to a ballistics vest. But here you can see swapping off to the green, the green's gonna be the easiest to see overall without killing your night vision, and in fact, without drawing too much attention to yourself. The green is a good overall intensity, generally speaking, even beam, and your eyes do pick up on the green wavelength without drawing too much attention and easily seeing detail with the green output. So not only do you get the white light, you also get the benefit of the different colors, so the blue, the green, and the red, each one of these having a specific and unique purpose for different tasks and very specific purpose-driven reasons. And then on top of that, you do also get a specialty beacon mode. So as you see here, each one of the colors and the white light giving you the ability to run this in the beacon mode for signaling or to catch somebody's attention. But the other thing that's extremely unique about the Sidewinder stock is the fact that it has different infrared modes. So you can put this on infrared on the flashlight, but you can also use your IFF friend or foe identifier, which is very interesting. And the thing that is difficult, well, you need some sort of infrared device. So here you can see I have leveraged infrared binoculars to actually see this as I walk off into the distance. Not the perfect picture, but it definitely gives you an idea. There are two modes on this IFF, which I don't completely understand the difference. You can see here I am switching the mode and it does appear to be generally the same. So I think the switch pretty much just allows you to switch it in one direction or the other and gives you pretty much the same output. But overall, a very interesting light. The Sidewinder stock, I do like it very much. Now, as we work our way through the rest of the features and these little accessories, these are add-on accessories. So this is an arc rail clip. And you can see this does come stock with a helmet clip, which is gonna be perfect for me. I'd probably put this on the strap of a pack or something like that. But again, you do have the ability to bolt on these different accessories. And these go right on top. You'll notice that little screw and these kind of screwing down and into place. So really neat that you have the ability to swap everything out if you need to for your different gear, the ability to mount these onto different pieces of equipment and very effectively. And the fact that it comes with all the hardware and this little thumb screw, I actually like this better. This factory one here requires a Phillips but then they swap it out once you get into the accessories with a thumb screw. I think that works just a little bit better in my opinion. And here is your arc rail mount. So this actually is Velcro. So theoretically, I could Velcro this onto something. I kind of wish it was a little bit flat, but it is curved. Again, arc rail mount. And then here's your arc rail clip. And these should slide together, which they do so functionally. That's really cool. That makes a nice, neat little setup. That's going to work out very well. It goes on like the front of a helmet or something like that, depending on what you're trying to do. And I'm not quite as familiar with this, but this is called E-mount. So here is your E-mount. I don't know exactly how this works, but I'd have to actually do a little bit of research. I'm sure you guys are probably much more familiar with this, but this looks like it could be a very useful piece of kit. Again, not exactly sure how this goes. I'd have to do a little bit of research and follow up on that, but you can see it has a couple of accessory pieces and the ability to adapt to your kit. So anyway, long story short, this Sidewinder is really cool. The stock being a very effective light. I like that it has the IR beacon. That's really cool. I like the fact that you can change the color of the LEDs 
really cool. Just beautifully made. These Streamlight products are fantastic, and that is certainly the case for the Sidewinder stock. And so the Sidewinder stock for me does fall typically outside my traditional wheelhouse. I'm not a military guy, I'm not a tactical guy, but hear me out for a minute. This to me would be a fantastic light for the outdoor enthusiast. If you're somebody that's looking to get yourself deep into the wilderness, deep into the mountains, this could really seriously save your butt. And here's why I say that. First and foremost, having a nice little light on your shoulder, the ability just to turn that on, see, read a map, look at your surroundings, just illuminate your campsite, that is awesome. But take it to the next level. Bottom line is, if you get into trouble, this as a signaling device could really legitimately save your life. If it came down to the fact that you were gonna try to get rescued by somebody, you had a rescue team, a helicopter, somebody looking down from above, chances are they're gonna use some sort of infrared. They might use heat seeking capabilities. And the idea being that anything you have to give off a good bright signal is going to help, especially if it's dark, it's nighttime, and also especially if you're in rugged terrain. So the idea being that you have an actual infrared beacon on your shoulder or the ability to leverage the white light, the red light, the green light, the blue light in a number of different ways and actually signal for help, this is incredible. So in my opinion, this Streamlight Sidewinder stock not just an effective military tool, but it's really incredibly important and useful for the outdoor enthusiast. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Streamlight for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.